Hey guys, it's Catherine here. Uh, today's day three with Dan. Um, today, what are you doing? Waving. Hi, uh, Dan's here. Oh, hey, Dan's behind there. Uh, today's day three and today we have spent, well, the last couple of hours at this really amazing place. We've been flying the drone around, getting some epic footage um, of this place, um, which has been incredible. Um, so actually today I wanted to talk about um, preconceived ideas and how it can actually shape what we do and how that can be quite limiting and um, not always quite helpful. Um, it actually all started with Dan because See, exercise, exercise and eating healthy is actually something I'm really, that's really important to me. And I go to gym maybe three or four times a week. And I had this idea about Dan coming to stay with me for a week. I had this idea that he's gonna like, I would have to give up all these things that were important to me, like exercise and eating healthy. Cause I just thought he'd wanna like, just get drunk the whole time and he wouldn't be interested in exercise, all that kind of stuff. So I basically told my personal trainer, um, look, I'm not gonna be able to come in for the next week because I'm hosting someone. And, and my, my trainer even said to me, like, why don't you bring him into gym with you? And I was like, no, nah, no, nah, he wouldn't wanna do that. But, so I ended up canceling all my PT for the week and I just, yeah, and then Dan ended up coming and I told him, oh, I'm not gonna go to PT this week. And he's like, why, why not? Like, like let's go to gym. Like, and he was telling me about how that's part of his, um, his, his current challenge, that he wants to exercise more and, um, exercise what three times a week Dan? Mm -hmm. yeah, that's yeah exercise right. three times a week and he wants to eat healthy like we're going out to restaurants and he's picking all the healthy things on off the menu and I just realized that I had this preconceived idea and I've completely changed what I, what was true to me based on what I don't know my my, my completely mi completely wrong perception of him um, so I guess what I realized is maybe it's like important to not make these judgments on situations and just be more open-minded sorry there's so many flies i don't know if you can see literally them. swarms of them yeah you can see them on camera you can there's so ba basically flies. there's so many flies guys just to show you yeah. this is happening <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah so i guess uh what i've just learned is um to be more open-minded and not change my whole life around what my perception of a situation or a person is because it could be completely wrong and uh, yeah, Dan, do you have anything to add to that? Um, no, not really. I mean, I think you said it pretty well. I think the uh, the key film thing yourself. is, yeah. yeah, I'm gonna film myself. Even though, like, hi, I look fantastic. <laughs> um, the key thing is, it's like the analogy I use is it's like looking at the world through tiny little lens coloured spectacles in that we only see the tiniest fraction of what's available to us. And what we do see is filtered through our own personal beliefs based on the past. And what the analogy I talked about. Oh, it's like trying to show your face. There we go. People can uh, lip I'm read you. I'm stuck under my bag. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Um, and the analogy I use is it's like walking through, just keep the flies up my eyes. It's like walking through, when you walk up to a door, we don't think, um, oh, there you go, thank yeah. you. We don't think like, oh, we're gonna, we're gonna um, tense this muscle in our leg to lift it and then tense this muscle to move it forward and then lower our foot onto the floor and then do this and then do that and tense this muscle and tense this muscle and use our eye muscles by moving that muscle. We, we, uh, even when I say door, I'm already prejudging this is a door. What I should be doing, if I'm not prejudging, is seeing uh, this, this lump of wood is attached by two metal objects here. Objects on the door, which is a handle, and then pull my muscle here and muscle here and pull this down and pull this down, then pull my muscle here and pull this towards me. The hinges might move, and therefore this. You know, we, the point is that we filter um, everything in the world. In, based on our past experiences. So we go, that's a door. You open it and you walk through it. That's what we do. And we do it with people as well. This person, has, this person is this way, therefore this. But we're not, we're not seeing the bigger picture. We're just assuming that that's the way things are and therefore we react a certain way, which is often completely not in accordance with how reality is. Yeah. Authentic your interactions are gonna be with people and I feel like I've just hijacked your video. I'm sorry. <laughs> anyway. Um, Thank you for adding so much value. Thank you very to much. my video. Can I just point out that you're wearing a wake up shirt? You're just like a traveling SFM advocate. <laughs> I love it. Thank you, Captain. Yeah. All right, um, until, is this a filming? Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. Until uh, tomorrow's adventures, which we have some really awesome stuff planned. So stay tuned. It's gonna be cool. Thanks yeah. very much. Bye.
so right now we are hiding <laughs> we're hiding in this um underground tunnel because there's a storm coming yeah i don't know if you can see the lashings or anything oh you can kind of see it yeah it it's like yeah. 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 there you go because it changes the lighting oh god it's so actually lashings oh it's actually coming it's actually like, sounding good Make shit happen, mm. so yeah, he's gone, and I think he's he's got a lot to lose, like a lot of muscle. Yeah, it's gonna keep going for a little while. Yeah, exactly. So, so. See, see those four. Look at that. Look at that. Definitely joking. <laughs> <laughs> it's been two weeks. I'm, I'm I was so hungry, half my face has disappeared. <laughs> <laughs> We've had to move to a um a more enclosed um. What is it called? Tunnel. Well, it's not really a tunnel. It's not really a tunnel. What right? is it? Like tunnels, a... tunnels kind of go somewhere. This, yeah. is, this is more of a, an, a strange stone outhouse. Yeah. Slash cemetery. Because there is a big storm. Big storm coming. Mm. Yeah. So should I try and show them the storm? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Let me, let me just go. We've actually had to climb a, a little thing to get in here. Just so we could stay alive here. Right, hold on. Okay. I'll be back. Let's, let, let's okay. go see the storm. All right, this way, everybody. Quick. It's quite tense. There's a boat out to sea. Oh, the wind is picking up. It's really quite something over here. So there used to be, uh, let me just flip the camera. There used to be land over there. But uh, what we can see now is, is lashings and lashings of rain, which I'm hoping isn't going to last too long. Because otherwise, we could be here quite a while. But saying that, it seems to be. Fine. Right, wish us luck. Let's do this.